Welcome to another edition of EMU Soccer Weekly here on Eagle All Access. Adam Kuffner joined once again by EMU head coach Scott Hall. And coach, last week we talked to you and it was a big week heading into the final regular season contest against Western Michigan before the MAC tournament. You were able to beat Western on the road and win the conference championship, your first regular season title since 2003. Talk about what that means to your program to not only go out and win the conference title, but go out, win on the road against an in-state rival. Well, like I say, it's always uh, takes a little bit of luck with that, too. We got a nice result from the BG and Miami of Ohio tie that week before, uh, which gave us a chance. And at the end, that's all you want is a chance. So it was in our destiny, a tight race, four teams all having uh, the same amount of points going into that last one, and we had to win it to own it. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the kids for coming out and taking care of business against a very tough Western Michigan team. And then you came back here on Sunday and defeated Ohio 3 to nothing. and the team hasn't allowed a goal since the second half of the Western game and also through the 90 minutes of the Ohio game. Big part of that is Marissa Kozakowski. She was the MAC Defensive Player of the Week this week. Angela Voltaggio also getting the MAC Offensive Player of the Week honors. And we've talked about what she's done all season on the offensive side, but what about Kozakowski and what does she bring to your back line? But Marissa, not only on the defensive side, but on the attacking side, gets a ton of touches on the ball. So we rely on her to kind of start our rhythm. Uh, we play a lot through those wide outside backs, and uh, she does a great job of keeping the ball, getting the ball forward. Again, her 1v1 uh, defending skills against uh, Western Michigan, their two top players, Rachel Cheney, uh, Aubrey Sudemeyer on each side, both have scored a ton of goals that are very dangerous. Um, she did a great job, 1v1 defending, and then again, starting our attack right from the back. And so now that you've won that game and as the top seed, you'll host the remainder of the Mid-American Conference Tournament. And what does that mean to host it at Sakuna Field and have that home field advantage? Well, always an honor. I mean, we, I, we haven't had it here since 1999. And my first year, my first year as a head coach, um, I kind of screwed things up by winning everything right off the bat. So the pressure really feels like every year you want to do that. So. Uh, I'm really trying to enjoy this week. I'm trying to get the players to enjoy the week, the build up to it, uh, to get to be able to play here, sleep in your own bed, uh, all the cliche stuff. It's true. I mean, we we, we enjoy that. Um, but again, to get your home crowd out on, you know, that that's going to be the big one. And you have Western again. So you faced them a week ago. Does that short notice in preparation does that help you in terms of going out and training and preparing for them this week? Yeah, I mean, it goes both ways. I think they know us pretty well, and we know them pretty pretty well, and it's two very good teams. So um, this is the way it should be. I mean, you, you, you've got to you've got to beat good teams to win this conference, and the conference is very tough. So uh, it, it, it's fun to see two Michigan teams get to this point. A lot of kids that we recruited, they recruited, are on each team, and uh, so it should be a good, good, fun match. And with the win, you'll have a chance to earn an NCAA tournament berth in the MAC tournament championship you face the winner of either Miami or Ball State and what would you say to the Eagles fans of how important it is for them to come out this weekend and support the team well like you said I mean we haven't had a championship here since 1999 so um, we, we need the people out there we need people uh, cheering for these kids they've they've done so much over a short period of time in these last two three months um, we're just excited where we want to really enjoy the the experience so come on out and it should be it's going to be great games i can guarantee three great games out of the weekend and i know we say it's always a big weekend it seems like it keeps getting bigger but really this is the biggest weekend of the year for the emu soccer team they come out and play friday november 8th at 11 a.m against the western michigan broncos before coming back with a victory they'll play here sunday for the championship november 10th at one o'clock and coach hall once again good luck this weekend thanks again for joining us on eagle all access thanks adam